Hey guys and welcome back to another Tech Show video. Today I'm going to be trying to install Windows 7 on this old Dell Latitude C610 I recently bought used for $10. When I first got this thing home it was in pretty bad condition. It was dirty, smelled like mold, and when I tried to turn it on it would attempt to boot into Windows XP and then just crash in a blue screen of death. So, just to make sure it was functional, I installed a Linux OS called Q4OS, which is supposed to work well on old machines, but it's extremely slow, like more slow than it should be, so I'm pretty sure Linux doesn't work well on this laptop, or at least not this distro. So I had an idea. What if I slow the laptop down even more by installing Windows 7 on it? I don't actually have a Windows 7 laptop, and I thought it would just be a fun challenge, so I decided that's what I'll do. The specs on this laptop are so low, they don't even meet the Windows 7 requirements, but it should be enough to basically get it running. So after digging through my large collection of disks, I finally found a 32-bit Windows 7 professional disk for a Dell computer. This should have worked, but it didn't. The laptop just kept booting into Q4OS, and even when I disabled the hard drive, it refused to boot from the disk. So after wasting a bunch of time trying to figure out what was going on, I finally realized this laptop's disk drive is CD only, and this Windows 7 disk was a DVD. I should have known that, since this laptop is so old and low spec, but somehow I didn't think of that. This was a little bit of a problem since there was no option to boot from USB, and there's no way to fit Windows 7 onto a CD. I thought booting from USB would be an option at first because the laptop does have one USB port, but that was not an option in the BIOS. So I came up with the smart idea to install Windows XP onto the laptop, download a Windows 7 ISO to the laptop, and yes, it's fine because I have purchased an activation key, then I'd make a bootable partition on the drive and extract the ISO to the partition and boot from it which in theory should work. So I got out my trusty copy of Windows XP Professional and popped it into the drive. The formatting and initial installation went smoothly, but once it got to the second stage of copying files, I got an error. Not just any error, a fatal error. I tried for several hours and no matter how many different Windows XP disks I tried, I got the same error. Just when I was about to give up, I found this Windows XP Pro disk that was bundled with an old HP computer. I thought I might as well try it, there's nothing to lose, and surprisingly, it worked great. Oh, sort of. Something really weird happened. For some reason, the setup didn't ask me at any point for a name or password. I didn't notice anything at first until I got to the login screen. There was one user called administrator, which was a little strange because the administrator user isn't supposed to be shown unless you boot into safe mode. But it shouldn't be a problem since the administrator account doesn't have a password by default. But when I tried to log in, it gave me this weird error message, which did not make sense unless you were trying to log into a networking machine or something, which of course I wasn't. I even checked to make sure that there wasn't like a password or something, but there wasn't. So the only thing to do now was to start all over again and do a clean reinstall of Windows XP. This time it actually let me set up my account and set up Windows planned. Ah uh, yes, Windows XP. At this point, I had been through so much and spent so much time on this, I was tempted to just leave it at XP and waste all my time playing pinball. But I couldn't stop there, I had to know if this laptop would run Windows 7. Now I need to get to the real task of trying to make this laptop do something it really doesn't want to do. I installed Firefox, downloaded a Windows 7 ISO, and all the tools necessary to repartition the drive and modify the boot manager. Everything downloaded surprisingly quickly and I was feeling hopeful, but Windows XP refused to run any of the programs I tried to install and it just kept throwing errors at me, or just not running at all. I was getting pretty frustrated because none of the software would run, and without this stuff, my whole plan looked as though it would fail, and since I had been working on it for more than 5 hours, I decided to take a weekend break. It was during that break that I discovered something. I had downloaded the Windows 7 ISO to my main laptop, and upon extracting the contents and exploring them, 
I realized there was a setup.exe file. I've got to say, I felt a little embarrassed that I didn't know that was an option. You can literally install Windows just like you would install any other software. Now all I had to do was copy the files to a USB drive, plug it into the old Windows XP laptop, run the setup file, and install Windows. And you know what? It really was that simple. I didn't even have to install any drivers on Windows XP to use the USB drive. I literally plugged it in, double clicked the setup program, and it launched right into setting up Windows 7. I figured setup would be incredibly slow due to the low specs of the laptop, but as far as I could tell it wasn't much slower than a normal Windows 7 installation even on a more capable machine. But of course things couldn't be just that easy. During the first reboot it got stuck on the starting Windows screen. I restarted the setup and got the same issue, but shockingly after about 5 reboots I got it going again, and from there it was just up to me to watch and hope nothing else goes wrong. First boot was pretty slow, like very very slow, and I could see that Windows 7 hadn't installed any drivers. There was no sound, no network, and the resolution was completely messed up. So I headed over to the driver website for this laptop, and the first thing I was greeted with was this message about how Windows 10 wasn't supported on this laptop. Is that another challenge? Anyway. All the drivers for this laptop were, unsurprisingly, for Windows XP or earlier, but since we're running a 32-bit version of Windows 7, the drivers should work fine. But let's talk about what you've probably been waiting for. How well does this laptop run Windows 7? Well, it's actually pretty similar to how it ran Windows XP, which was pretty slow. Obviously there are some compatibility issues, like the fact that Windows Media Player refuses to open, so it won't play any audio or video files, but as far as speed goes, it's just a slow old laptop. And like I said before, not a lot slower than it was before. Web browsing, however, did take a big hit here. It seemed to browse the web fine on XP, of course pretty slow, but it was functional. Now on Windows 7 it continually crashes and glitches, most likely because Windows 7 takes up more memory than XP. Frog Find on Internet Explorer works fine though, and you can quickly and easily perform basic web searches, not compromising much speed you would get on a modern computer. Only you won't have graphics or proper website formatting, so the speed comes at a price. Gaming on this laptop was fine in some very small games, while others were almost unplayable. Most of the Windows 7 games ran fine, except for chess, which apparently couldn't be rendered by this laptop's incapable graphics chip. Purple Place, one of my favorite games as a kid, played very well on this laptop, except for the fact that it wouldn't render most or any of the text in the game. The Windows Experience Index wouldn't work either, apparently due to the fact that this laptop doesn't play video. I'm guessing all these glitches I'm experiencing are due to the fact that I'm using Windows XP graphics drivers, which aren't even supposed to run on Windows 7. But no matter how poorly it's running, I'm happy about the fact that I even got Windows 7 on here. During the 10 plus hours I was working on this thing, I thought I would never get it to work. But here it is, Windows 7 on a Dell Latitude C610. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you think I should try Windows 7 on this laptop, make sure to leave it in the comments, like the video, and subscribe. And you may see Windows 10 on this laptop in a future video. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.